step into the Wild West with Wanted Dead or Alive, the 1958 TV series that made bounty hunting cool before it was cool. If you're wondering when you first caught a glimpse of this classic, or if you have a cherished memory tied to it, you're not alone. This gritty show stars Steve McQueen as bounty hunter Josh Randall, a man with a moral compass and a trusty mare's leg. The series doesn't just offer action. It's a roller coaster of emotions waiting to be explored. Funny, shocking, and downright sad facts are in store for you, so keep your eyes peeled. Now, have you ever reminisced about the first time you laid eyes on this TV gem? Or perhaps there's a special moment etched in your memory associated with it? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We're all ears and eager to hear your tales from the wanted dead or alive frontier. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic series? We'd love to hear from you, so don't be shy. Drop your stories in the comments below and let's keep the Wanted Dead or Alive legacy alive. Wanted Dead or Alive, the 1958 TV series, carved its mark on television history, leaving an indelible impact on the way audiences perceive bounty hunting in the Wild West. Steve McQueen's portrayal of bounty hunter Josh Randall not only made the practice cool, but also introduced a multifaceted character with a moral compass, adding depth to the narrative. The show's legacy lies not just in its action-packed sequences, but in its ability to evoke a range of emotions. Viewers were taken on a roller coaster ride through funny, shocking, and downright sad moments, creating a captivating tapestry of storytelling. The Mayor's Leg, a distinctive and unconventional firearm wielded by Randall, became an iconic symbol of the series, further contributing to its enduring legacy. As television landscapes evolved, Wanted Dead or Alive maintained its relevance by being a trailblazer in its genre. Its influence can be seen in subsequent Western-themed productions that sought to replicate its success. The legacy lives on not only in the hearts of those who experienced it firsthand, but also in the ongoing resonance of its storytelling elements in contemporary television. The show's ability to resonate with audiences, transcending the era it originated from, speaks volumes about its timeless appeal. The frontier spirit, moral dilemmas, and gripping narratives continue to captivate new generations of viewers, solidifying its place in the annals of television history. In conclusion, this classic TV series remains more than just a nostalgic gem. It's a testament to the enduring power of well-crafted storytelling and memorable characters. Its impact, legacy, and continued relevance highlight its role in shaping the landscape of television entertainment. Steve McQueen's entry into Wanted Dead or Alive came about thanks to a commendation from Jack H. Harris, the producer of The Blob, a film in which McQueen had a role. Dick Powell, involved in the series, not only received a glowing recommendation, but also had the chance to preview a rough cut of The Blob. Initially, McQueen felt a bit out of place in the 19th century Wild West setting. His modern demeanor clashed with the historical backdrop, creating an interesting dynamic in the portrayal of bounty hunter Josh Randall. The distinctive mare's leg, a sawed-off rifle, became a defining feature of the show. Crafted by Kenny Howard, also known as Von Dutch, this unconventional firearm was initially developed for an episode in the earlier series Trackdown featuring Robert Culp. The collaboration between McQueen and Howard continued in the spin-off Wanted Dead or Alive. Amusingly, the DVD box set includes a clip of McQueen pinching his fingers while handling the mare's leg. The mare's leg not only served as a unique weapon, but also became an iconic symbol of the series. Its unconventional design added an extra layer to the character of Josh Randall and contributed to the show's overall identity. Steve McQueen's journey into the Wild West, though initially met with skepticism, resulted in the creation of a character and a show that left an enduring mark on television history. The Mayor's Leg, a product of collaboration and innovation, became a tangible representation of the series' distinctive approach to storytelling and its impact on popular culture. Steve McQueen's journey into the Wild West began with a commendation from Jack H. Harris, producer of The Blob, in which McQueen had a role. This recommendation, coupled with a preview of The Blob's rough cut by Dick Powell, opened the door for McQueen to step into the 19th century setting of Wanted Dead or Alive. Initially feeling out of place with his modern demeanor, McQueen's portrayal of bounty hunter Josh Randall added an intriguing dynamic to the historical backdrop. 
One distinctive element that became synonymous with the series was the Mare's Leg, a sawed-off rifle crafted by Kenny Howard, also known as Von Dutch. Originating in an earlier series, Trackdown, featuring Robert Culp, the Mare's Leg continued its legacy in Wanted Dead or Alive. A noteworthy addition to the show, this unconventional firearm wasn't just a weapon. It became an iconic symbol, contributing to the character of Josh Randall and the series' identity. An interesting tidbit from behind the scenes is found in the DVD box set, where a clip captures McQueen pinching his fingers while handling the mayor's leg. Despite this amusing incident, the mayor's leg served as a tangible representation of the show's distinctive storytelling approach and its impact on popular culture. The creators faced initial challenges selling the concept of a bounty hunter as a protagonist, considering the unsavory portrayal of such characters in Western shows and movies. To overcome this obstacle, the character of Josh Randall was molded into a sympathetic figure, with McQueen's portrayal showcasing a man who gave most, if not all, of his earnings to aid those affected by the actions of the man he brought in. In conclusion, Wanted Dead or Alive, driven by Steve McQueen's portrayal of Josh Randall and the iconic Mayor's Leg, defied expectations and left an enduring mark on television history. The show's ability to reinvent the perception of bounty hunters and deliver captivating narratives solidified its place in the annals of television entertainment, showcasing the power of well-crafted characters and storytelling. In Westworld, a robot antagonist wields a modified Winchester Model 1892 Mare's Leg Rifle, akin to the one used by Steve McQueen in the TV series. The firearm, born from the gimmicky westerns of the 1950s, is visually striking but impractical for self-defense due to its shortened barrel and uncomfortable firing angle when used as a handgun. Steve McQueen's decision to take on the role of Josh Randall in Wanted Dead or Alive stemmed from dwindling movie prospects. As the series gained popularity, McQueen's visibility in the film industry increased. Director John Sturges, impressed by McQueen's work, cast him in The Magnificent Seven, marking the ascent of McQueen's film career and leading to the cancellation of the series. McQueen's journey into the Wild West was initially met with skepticism due to his modern demeanor, adding an intriguing dynamic to the historical setting. The Mayor's Leg, crafted by Kenny Howard, became a defining feature. A clip in the DVD set amusingly captures McQueen pinching his fingers while handling the mayor's leg. Beyond its role as a weapon, the mayor's leg became an iconic symbol of the series, contributing to Josh Randall's character and the show's identity. Steve McQueen's portrayal of the sympathetic bounty hunter defied expectations, challenging the unsavory image of such characters in westerns. Randall, giving most of his earnings to aid those affected by his captures, reshaped the perception of bounty hunters in television. Wanted dead or alive, driven by McQueen's performance and the iconic Mayor's Leg, left an enduring mark on television history, showcasing the power of well-crafted characters and storytelling.